Hey guys, it's me Muhammad Umanadeem from the Software Nerd and in this video we are going to study another class of receptors present on the cell membrane called as ligand gated ion channels. So far we have discussed G protein coupled receptors and their subtypes. But uh, this ligand gated ion channels uh, are quite different from the uh, previous receptors that we have studied. But before we go into the details of the ligand gated ion channels, uh, let us must discuss different types of ion channels present on the cell membrane. So Consider this to be our cell. Here is our cell. Now, on this cell, there is a first type of angel of parent. Here is our angel. Let's suppose to be this or angel. Now, uh, this angel has specific pockets here. These pockets are basically the ligand binding domains and whenever a particular ligand will bind on it, this channel will open uh, leading to the influx or afflux of cations or anions. So this, uh, this class, this first class is called as ligand gated ion channels. Now there is another class of ion channels present on the cell membrane, consider this to be our another class here. Here is our another class. Now, uh, unlike uh, ligand gated ion channels or ligand operated ion channels, uh, this class is quite different. This class is called voltage dependent ion channels. Now, these are voltage dependent ion channels. So, whenever, whenever there will be a change in the voltage. Or the, the, the cell uh, depolarized or hyperpolar, hyperpolarized, depending upon the, their nature, these channels will open and start the influx or afflux of cations and anions. So that, that, that how, that's how these, these specific ion channels operate. Now there is another class of ion channels present present on the cell membrane. Where are they? They are basically mechanical, mechanical operated ion channels or mechanical gated ion channels. So the first class is ligand gated ion channels that are basically receptors. The second class is a voltage dependent ion channels and the third class is a mechanical gated ion channel. Whenever there will be a mechanical stimulus or change in the pressure in the cell, these ion channels will open and start the influx or afflux of the cations or anions. Now let us let's let's discuss let's discuss how a ligand gated ion channel stimulate or inhibit a neuron. Consider this this to be our neuron. Here is our neuron. Here is our neuron. Now this neuron, this neuron, this black neuron uh, would be here is our neuron. Now this black neuron is going to stimulate or inhibit inhibited by a, a three three a three other neurons. For example, there is neuron A. There is neuron A. There is neuron B. And uh, here is neuron C. Now, just consider this neuron A. Neuron. Neuron A. Now, this neuron A is going to release a neurotransmitter that will act on the ligand gated ion channel present on this black neuron whenever this neurotransmitter will act on 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 this on this ion channel ligand gated ion channel present on the uh, present uh, on the post synaptic membrane of a neuron uh, this uh, ion channel will open this ion channel this ion channel will open and uh, lead and it leads uh, to the influx influx of positive cations into the neuron. So whenever, whenever uh, the positive uh, due to positive influx uh, or positive uh, uh, cation, when cat positive cation will move into the 
uh, inside the inside this neuronal cells this neuronal cell the positive charge increases here and the cell become depolarized and it will it will uh, start uh, and the transmitting uh, impulse uh, uh, impulse that will result in the release of another neurotransmitter from this end so this neuron this neuron a is going to uh, uh, is releasing a neurotransmitter uh, that is basically uh, that is basically uh, excitatory in nature now this let's come to our neuron b here we have another ion channel present now this neuron B is going to release a neurotransmitter. This neurotransmitter, when act on the ligand binding domain of this ligand gated ion channel, uh, it will open and it, it, it will start fluxing the positive cations. The positive cations are potassium ions. So when whenever the uh, due to uh, a flux of the potassium ions, due to a flux of the potassium ion, the positive charge inside the neuron decreases the neuron become hyperpolarized and it will it will be inhibited by this by this neurotransmitter this neurotransmitter basically is inhibiting the uh, transmission of an impulse by a fluxing a potassium ion or a fluxing a positive cation now let's come let's come to this neuron c now this neuron c is also releasing a neurotransmitter this neurotransmitter is also acting on an ion channel present present on this this neuron on this neuronal membrane. Uh, as a result of the binding of this neurotransmitter with a ligand binding domain, it will open and it will start influxing of chloride ions or negative anions into the cell. Whenever there will be an influx of negative anion into the cells negative negative potential increases inside the cell negative potential increases inside the cells the cell become hyperpolarized and cell uh, will not transmit any impulse uh, further so this is how this is how a uh, ligand gated ion channel stimulate or inhibit a neuron present uh, on which it is present this is all from this video in the next video we are going to discuss the basic types of ligand gated ion channels Thanks for watching, please subscribe our channel.